clearing out the name, you can't just get inside like that. Nigerian citizen, by the way, because they're handing over their Nigerian passport as well because they're checking their passport. The officer's checking their passport at the minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've got to check their passport. Nigerian citizen. What is taking place basically are uh, handing over a letter of, uh, you know, partition, partition of the Yoruba people out of Nigeria. They basically, uh, they wanted separation. They wanted to break away from Nigeria and handing over a letter to the Prime Minister of England. Uh, it means basically, what it means, uh, the Yoruba nation that would, that would uh, break away from Nigeria, whether by through war or peace. Yes. So, so <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> So, it's been a while that we talked about Yoruba Nation. Yoruba Nation was so... Uh, trending in time past I mean a lot of us talked about it this platform Yoruba Nation now Yoruba Nation now Sunday Igbowo Igbowo Sunday uh, Sunday Igbowo Osha we, we talked about it in fact they said that Sunday Igbowo had turned into a cat a black one black one and he had escaped when the um, government or is it regime rather let me put it as a regime of um, Buhari uh, and certain persons who felt that um, Sunday Bowo was becoming a pain to them. Um, they had, um, on that day, July, no one will forget it. Um, they had uh, stormed this home. One person lost his life and a lot of terrible things happened. Sunday Bowo was able to get himself out of Nigeria. He got into the neighboring country, Benin Republic, and um, he stayed over there. He wanted to get out of the Republic down to Germany, where his wife resides. He has a resident there. The Nigerian government already had their own security official there, but they could not get him. Somehow, somehow, in favor of Sunday Igbo, the Benin Republic security agents arrested him and they kept him having gone to court here and there 
They kept him for a while in their contract. I think he spent up to two years or a year plus. Somehow, somehow, this uh, Yoruba nation clamor, agitation, started dwindling slowly and slowly. It started dwindling. Um, people were not talking about it anymore. And we started having Madame Monitiri. She said she used to be um, the wife of late MKO Abiola. She came up with uh, a lot of resettlement arrangement. You know, she had a lot of uh, on paper um, solutions, resettlement arrangement. I'm sure you are used to that uh, announcement, reclaiming, reclamation, uh, amalgamation. She had all of that. Yes, she did. But she was never on ground like Sunday. Igbowo. Now we had uh, a professor who was with Sunday Igbowo and certain persons said, oh, he went to the Republic to be with Sunday Igbowo to give Sunday Igbowo moral support. And some said, oh, it's all about money. Issues of money came into it. We heard that one other professor was kicked off. They said he is not the, you know, man of integrity. A lot of issues started coming up. So for a long time, we started dealing with money, money issue, donation here, of course. Donation here and here. What did they use the money for? Now, the Madame Monetary own came to an end, I think sometimes last year, where the Oyo State government arrested some old men and some guys. In fact, they denied. They said, we don't know. They just gave us the uniform and they asked us to come here and sit in front of the secretariat. They were arrested anyway. They were arrested. And this, and we got to hear that Madame Monetary was the one that told them to go and reclaim um, government while she's probably somewhere in Europe or America. We don't know where she is. Now, Sunday Bowie is out. You, 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 you saw him, you know, do his thing with others in the United Kingdom in a safe haven um, where they will not be arrested, where no one will come to them like a thief in the night. Questions that people are asking is this. How are you going to reclaim? How are you going to get your Yoruba nation? Whilst you are abroad, you are in the United Kingdom, um, like it's a, a carnival. How are you going to send that message of, we want to be on our own, we want a country, a nation for ourselves, by going to those um, who are there, joined you together? Because to them it is profitable. And moreover, they would like to see that you guys will never get it right. They are happy that they are superior. If they could create a geographical expression that, that has become a country now called Nigeria, Nigeria or whatever it is, they, they, are, they, they are so happy that these niggas, because some people said, oh, Nigeria was gotten from nigger and Niger. Also, is the French, you know, all of that. Uh -huh. So they are like, these guys will never get it right. If we could come together and arrange and make plans and we, we effected it, and these people were joined together and they are still together, they are talking about breakup or break off. How can they, if they do not have the mental capacity or they do not have the willingness or integrity to do what they need to do? Is it by force to be together? Now, we also have the Biafras on, in, in, in their own corner. They, they are also doing their own thing. And the Biafras, although they are not, they, they, the sound of we are breaking apart is no longer there. Somehow, um, everything died off, like went underground. I don't blame them. And now the country is still in the custody of the um, Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it seems no amount of uh, going to court is going to solve this unless um, any president decides to give presidential pardon, which I don't think is possible um, because they do not want, I don't even think any Southeasterner will want to, unless maybe a Southeasterner steps in there and um, that Southeasterner will be ready to deal with uh, Nam the Kanu if Inamdekanu begins to come up with, or then maybe Inamdekanu will become political in a way, 
he will not uh, want to speak in a certain way. But then, you know, once you are in, you are in, you want your followers to respect you. You don't want to end up like, according to Nabikanu, like Wanzurike, the leader of Masob, who was, uh, uh, you know, marin marinated by the federal government. Having been marinated, he realized that if he's not careful, the next thing is they will throw him inside of the um, fire furnace and they will grill him for eating. And he does not want to be eaten. So he decided to apply a little bit of, uh, okay, this battle seems to be um, a battle that we need to go back to the drawing board to see how to go about it. Um, the way we are looking at it, it seems there is no way out of Nigeria unless through war. Yes, talking about war. Sunday Bowo, hmm. He saw a little bit of how aggressive the Nigerian government can be when it comes to you um, expressing yourself. Sonny Gbowo had uh, talked and said a lot of things in time past, and a lot of people saw him as a very strong and powerful man. But you cannot be too powerful than the government of the day. It's not possible. I have never seen one person or some group of people who successfully turned upside down a country that is even as half of Nigeria. Don't talk of a country like Nigeria. These these people, um, they 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 have um, gone too far in looting, and they are ready to um, protect it with all that they have. Very very important. So to get these people to, or to get everyone together, um, it's it is going to be um, a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. But for anyone to achieve this. Togetherness, integrity, transparency, persistency is important. Understanding the direction that you're heading to. Now, a lot of people have asked, if Nigeria breaks apart, are we sure of progress? Let's say in the Southwest, people said, yes, of course, there are Nigerians in diaspora who will return home. Believing that they have something to add value to whatever then i said well it is possible to a larger extent but don't think it's going to work just like that it's not just going to work because we are people with diverse thoughts and opinions the only thing that can keep any country together functioning is a country where the rule of law is upheld not with some funny old adage or proverbs that someone will come up with in his own town or village and say, eh, eh, we cannot say that eh, a child is so wicked and bad and eh, we will now chase that child to the eh, hands or the, the teeth or the mouth of a lion. If a child is a wicked person and needs to be kicked into the mouth of the lion, you have to. That's what they call the law. You have to let the lion eat that child so that you can have peace. Yes. So, um, a, a lot is going to happen, hopefully, from the way I'm looking at it. A lot is going to happen. And uh, we don't know, maybe this uh, um, protest, or is it campaign, or is it awareness? Let us call it awareness. This is not a protest. Awareness, and where Sunday Bowo came on ground, all the way from Germany down to the UK, I think, um, to be part of it. Um, maybe, but I don't think Sunday Bowo won't return back to Nigeria because if the government of today grabs Sunday Bowo, he might not be lucky again. I don't know if he's ready to sacrifice or his wife will allow him to sacrifice that much. Um, no, I, I don't think so. Um, his wife will be like, hey guy, recover yourself. And I'm, I'm sure he also wants to recover himself. But that activism or that thing inside of him is still there. It's still there. And some people have said, oh, because Tinubu is the president, you know, sectional aggrandizement, people feeling like someone from my own tribe is in charge now. Maybe if that's the reason why he's not that loud. But once another government comes in, maybe from the southeast or from the north or middle belt or wherever, Sonibu will come up again. We want to break apart. We want to break apart. How come you guys put uh, your people in all key position? At the end of the day, the truth is this, Nigeria must break apart because to be called a nation, you have to speak one language, one tongue. That is why Biafra cannot work. Sorry to those that are Igbos. Biafra can never work unless Biafra will be for Igbo 
people alone. If you don't speak the same language, you cannot be the same with a man who does not speak your language, with a woman who does not speak your language. But you say we have similar culture. There's nothing like similar. There's nothing similar in anything similarity. No. Biafra will be Igbo people. Bielsa and the rest of those people who have, you know, certain things in common. Those people will be together. If you cannot understand the language that the other person is speaking without, you know, being confused. If you don't understand 90% of what someone is saying, you are not fit to be one country. 